Water Blade works by taking a trickle of water and using the surface tension properties of the water, spreading it into a paper-thin sheet through which you can run your hands. It is a remarkably effective, efficient and luxurious way to wash your hands. Water Blade can be quickly and easily fitted to most mixer taps, like so. Shut down the flow on the isolators under the basin and the install is complete. We have extensively trialled the water blade. In fact, so far, water blade has in excess of 5,000 successful installs. So far this year, we have signed distribution agreements in Australia and the UK. I'm here to pitch for £85,000 in exchange for 10% of Waterblade Limited. I think to really appreciate it, you have to try it for yourselves. Hoping to tap into some dragon capital is inventor Nigel Bamford. He's seeking £85,000 in exchange for 10% of his water saving gadget. Duka Suleiman is first to get the questions flowing. Nigel. Hi, um, You look to me like the mad scientist a little bit. Hmm. I mean, have you invented anything else apart from this? I definitely have a tendency for coming up with ideas for things, but I have my feet firmly on the ground. I've made I hope a living so. as a building contractor and a carpenter for all my working life, so I have to. And I guess the thing about this that is different is that I believe it has real commercial potential. Nigel, well done on creating a, a neat product. It's clever. Thank you. It works well. Um, you mentioned that using this device reduces the consumption of water. How much less water consumption? Royal Bank of Scotland did a fantastically well-measured trial and found that we'd reduced their water consumption by 60%. But well, that's quite impressive, 60% uh, uh, saving. It is, yes. Nigel's demonstrated his eco-invention can pass muster in a commercial environment. Now, Tuka Suleiman wants to know if the product can make a splash in one particular multi-billion pound sector. The big water companies, would they benefit having less water use? Yes, they, they would. definitely have a mandate to reduce water use. I've had talks with the water utilities. And what have they said to you? Northumbrian Water have said, we didn't fit a lot of them. They don't like having to adjust the flow on the isolators under the basin. You're shooting yourself in the foot, Nigel. I, I would have liked to have heard they love the product, they realise the benefits of I'd it. I'd have loved to and, hear that too. And, and they're <laughs> going to buy X hundred thousand of them. No, that's, that's not the case. They're still trialling it out, but they are, at the moment, I would say, cautious. I'm cautious too, with my money. Up to now, you've sold 5,000. Yeah. You've not seen what, what I'd call a big demand of an order of 50,000 or 100,000 on a real commercial scale. I think the strongest indication that we have for that is my Australian distributor. He hasn't batted an eyelid about second year sales target of 70,000 units. That, to me, um, is a very strong indication of future sales. Naturally, if your Australian distributor doesn't deliver 70,000 sales in year two, what are the remedies for that? Uh, the ramifications for him are that he will have invested a lot of time and money. And what about the money you don't receive? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not guaranteed. So the forecasts, they're not minimum volumes, are they? Absolutely, they're forecasts. They're forecasts. But Thank you. Thank he, you. he loses exclusivity. I'm not worried about him, I'm worried about you and my investment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>